Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a new video, bro. Today we're reacting to Andrew Colbert Tate on his BBC interview on the news, man. So if you're brand new, be sure to subscribe. I'm Cash Manifesto. Now, the BBC, the BBC has, has questioned, questioned the controversial, controversial social, social media, media influencer Andrew, Andrew Tate, Tate, Tate at his home, home in the Romanian capital, capital Bucharest. Bucharest. Tate is Tate's under house arrest, arrest and being investigated by Romanian by prosecutors, prosecutors for accusations, for accusations including, including rape, rape, human trafficking, trafficking and exploiting women. women which Wait, so that nigga is actually raping women. Well, I don't believe that, boy. This guy's got so much money, man. Why would he even need to cheat and eyes? The BBC, the BBC challenged him on whether his views about women broadcast to his millions of online followers harmed young people, as many teachers and police officers claim. Well, the interview, which had no set conditions, was Tate's first since being released into house arrest from police custody last month. Lucy Williamson reports now from Bucharest. We are doing an interview with you. Wait, why does it look like that, though? Why did he shave his head bald, bro? You know what I'm saying? This isn't this isn't. Because you're facing some very. And why isn't he shaving his beard? Serious allegations. Correct. Rape, human trafficking. Yep. And also because there's a great deal of concern about the things you say, and the impact that they have on young people, on women. I don't think the concerns about the things I say. I think the concern is for the level of influence I have and the reach I have. Let's start with the allegations. Dude, that's true, man. The Matrix is already trying to get him out of there. Have you raped anybody? Absolutely not. Have you trafficked anybody? Absolutely not. Exploit. The first question that female is going to ask if you raped someone. You know what I'm saying? That's what they just want is money, man. You know what I'm saying? Did any women have money? Absolutely not. <laughs> He says he maintains his innocence. Let's see. Young people on women. I don't think the concerns about the things I say. I think the concern is for the level of influence I have and the reach I have. Let's start with the allegations. Have you raped anybody? Absolutely not. Have you trafficked anybody? Absolutely not. Exploited any women for Absolutely money? Absolutely not. I don't know, man. This guy used to have a, like a big porn website, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because he used to have a webcam with girl, a webcam website. That's how he made his money. But you have admitted using emotional manipulation to get women to work in the webcam industry for you. No. We have an open criminal investigation. I am absolutely not really sure I'll be found innocent. I know the case better than you. I know it intimately and you don't. I have seen all the criminal files and the evidence against me and you haven't. I know the truth of what happened and you don't. And I'm telling you absolutely not really, I've never hurt anybody, that the case that's been put against me is completely and utterly fabricated. And I'm never going to be found guilty of anything. And it's very difficult for me to answer your in-depth questions because we're sitting here inside of the territory of Romania. I am beholden to the Romanian legal system. And I'm not going to incriminate myself. Let me read you then what you have said about what you have done. Sure. You have said, my job was to meet a girl, go on a few dates, sleep with her, get her to fall in love with me to the point where she'd do anything I say and then get her on webcam so we, we could become rich together. I don't think that's what I personally said. No, that does sound like manipulation if you think about it. That, I think that's, that's exactly what no, you said on your website. That's, that's, no, I've never said that. That's something that you found on the internet. Doesn't mean I've said it. In and, your words. And, and again, once again, if any female on the planet has a problem with me, I strongly recommend her to go to the police and try and pursue me for criminal charges. I'm actually such a nice person that the I've BBC never had anyone The BBC has spoken to somebody since your arrest who says exactly those things, that with you, it's all manipulation. There's an ulterior motive to everything you do. Is this you Sophie? Don't. Oh, it's Sophie, the, the, the fake name, no face. No I was one, so the, the intent story on wanting invented. to please him and wanting him to be happy that I was just kind of, yeah, okay, do whatever you want. And what is she accu has she accused me of a crime, this imaginary Sophie? She's making the point that there is has a she accused me of a crime? emotional... Or Why do they have those things in the back? That's the... Um, that's the horse, the chest. That's why, they, that's why Andrew has in his house. Psychological I've manipulation. I've asked you a question, and I've allowed you into my house. I'm asking you a question. Correct, but you're not the boss here, because I've allowed you into my house. I'm asking you the question. Correctly, and I'm telling you. You get to decide the answers. No, we're equal here. I've allowed you into my house. You don't come here with a position of authority. I'm doing you the favor as legacy media, giving you relevance by speaking to you, and I'm telling you now, this Sophie, which the BBC has invented, which there's no face of, nobody knows who she is. The BBC as, did not invent Of her. course not. And she, because you never invent anything. And she has not filed, she's not filed criminal charges against me. What are we talking about here? This guy is so smart, man. He's just like, the, the Matrix is trying to get him out. What We're is she talking saying? about emotional manipulation Has into she... the sex industry for your financial gain. Absolute garbage. I'm describing... 
do it. I mean, that's not a bad idea, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, what she just said. Your financial gain. Absolutely. Like, I, I wouldn't mind having financial gains from, you know what I'm saying? Yes, what are we talking about here? What We're is she talking saying? about emotional manipulation she... into the sex industry for your financial I, gain. I, I swear, man, like the sex industry and the financial industry are so linked, intertwined. I don't know why, man. I, every time when they bring it up, like money and, I don't know, it's just linked together. Absolute garbage. I'm describing women who are going to court to accuse you of rape and human Sophie trafficking court, so and i'm describing women who have spoken to how many women has this guy been like with bro you know what i'm saying like because the way she's talking she's so mad because like, like look man she's like she's just an old bitch she's out of her prime man you know what i'm saying and she knows that she's got nothing that andrew wants because andrew wants andrew wants younger females you know what i'm saying and she knows She's got no chance, so that's why she's going on what she's doing. To the BBC at length, Sophie doesn't exist. and other media ex organisations about what they say is emotional manipulation and coercion, and I'm quoting back to you your own words, where you describe They're not my words. coercion They're words and emotional you found, manipulation. They're words you found on the internet, and Sophie doesn't exist. On your so let's website, move on to the next in your voice. Move on to the next subject. No, I think I'll stick on this one for... Because you're raging, man. She's raged. <laughs> She's the Matrix, man. She, that that is the Matrix. You know what I'm saying? So there's Look, other Why is she trying to be masculine and trying to like, you know what I'm saying? She's trying to make Andrew submit and be feminine. She's she's acting too masculine, man. That's so unattractive. The Emotional manipulation. Go home and cook for your kids, man. You know what I'm saying? You shouldn't. That should be a guy interviewing him. You know what I'm saying? Because she's just too emotional. What you found on the internet, and Sophie doesn't exist. On your so let's website, move on to the next in your voice. Move on to the next subject. No, I think I'll stick on. See how emotionally invested she is to the conversation where Andrew's like, "Come on, man, let's get out of this one for a minute." So there's other places in that same website where you say you get girls to fall in love with you, and they do it because they love you, because they want to do what you say. Mm, bro, you can hear the anger in her voice when she starts talking about, like, females, you know what I'm saying, and money, you know what I'm saying? Convincing <laughs> women to take part in some kind of business arrangement doesn't... Why are you talking like that, though, bro? She's talking, like, emotionally. Like, Where you, you know say... She was talking fine, but when it comes to, like... when it, You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But when it, came, when, when it comes to, like talking about pussy or other women that's when she gets like really emotional. you get girls to fall in love with you and they do it because they love you because they want to do what you say convincing women to take part in some kind of business arrangement doesn't work long term because they're emotional you've got to get them to fall in love with you that's coercion you know that's, that's emotional manipulation that's abuse no it's not bro you know what I'm saying? the man is the leader and that's it bro that's how it's been you know what I'm saying the man is the leader and the woman is the follower so the man has the right to lead the relationship and that's it what you found are clips from the internet some text from the internet and you're going to sit here and tell me that that i can already tell she's a feminist i can tell from the vibe the way she's acting and the way she's talking like a feminist you know what i'm saying that's the reason I should your website your words it's not my website yes it is no it's not check, check my, my website, website. <laughs> next <laughs> it's, the it's the website, website you've taken Bro, she's a heating up, man. She looks like she's going to stand up and, like, give him a one-two combination to the face. But she can't do nothing because Andrew's an ex well, kid. Down, and I wonder why those comments have been taken down. Website, no website's been taken down. My website is the same, and it's been the same for a very long time. You are accusing me, I'm guessing. What you're trying to say is you're accusing me, and you're trying to say that I'm guilty of the things I'm accused of, and that I'm emotionally manipulating people. I'm saying that you have said you emotionally manipulated people here for your own financial gain. No, absolutely not. It's not only about the criminal allegations. It's a, a much bigger issue. You've got children's organisations in the UK, you've got rape organisations in the UK, you've got the police naming you by name as someone who has a harmful influence on children and on women in the UK and elsewhere because of the things you say, because of the way you present gender relations, the way you say men should treat women. That's very upsetting. And the reason that's very upsetting is because I know that's not true. I'm genuinely a good person. I believe my impact on the world is positive. The this reason we're asking you about these comments is because we've got the chief executive of Rape Crisis naming you individually as spreading a dangerous ideology of misogynistic rape culture. Absolute. It's the comments you make 
that are leading people to say things like Absolute this. Absolute garbage. National organisations who are saying that are blaming you for increasing levels of misogyny. Schools that are saying they are having increased incidents of girls being attacked, of female teachers being harassed. If that was by true, pupils. If that okay, so they're all leaving this to Andrew. Get out of here. of you and your teaching and your. How is Andrew responsible for all of that, man? You know what I'm saying? Well, influence. That's absolute garbage. I have never, ever encouraged a student to attack a teacher, male or female, ever. I preach hard work, discipline. I'm an athlete. I preach anti-drug. I preach religion. I preach no alcohol. I preach uh, no knife crime. Every single problem with modern society, I'm against. But I'm men teaching young men. I'm teaching young men to be disciplined, to be... Di ah, you can see her. She's trying to hold on to a position of power, man. You know what I'm saying? She's trying to overpower Andrew. Yeah, that's Diligent, it. to listen, to train, to work hard, to be exactly like me. And I'm saying that if men grew up like me, which are hardworking and diligent and emotional control and stoic, we're going to have a better society, not a worse society. To sit here and say that schools in England, England, which is a failing nation, which has knife crime going through the roof, violence going through the roof, men's mental health going through the roof, and they're going to all blame me because I appeared on the internet you one year an ago, image of is success. disingenuous. It's disingenuous. You and sell also, an image also, of financial success correct. with a Bugatti and a cigar, but it comes with a side... See, I know her, bro. She's just looking at his money, bro. And that's it, bro. It the order of misogyny. How does having a Bugatti and a cigar come with a misogyny? I am asking you about things that you have said that have caused major national organizations, including the police, to worry about you by name. The, That's what I'm asking you it's about. It's not what I said. It's about what you have said that has caused such concern in the U.S. Cool. I see what's going on here, but the Matrix, like, the people which are, most of the people which are ang angry with Andrew are just old, ugly females. You know what I'm saying? Like this, bro. Like Karen. UK, and I want to put it to you. Because they're jealous of his power, man. Because this ha this man has so much status and so much money, you know what I'm saying? And they know they can't get any of it. So the way they try to do it is by destroying him. And that's that's what they're trying to do, you know what I'm saying? Because they know they can't touch him. That you don't really care about the harm it caused, that's not causes. True. Because that's not true. Because making controversial statements like this online has made you a lot of money. Okay, so first thing, I genuinely... <laughs> Dude, when it comes to money, you making money, some niggas are ruthless, you know what I'm saying? You really am a force for good in the world. You may not understand that yet, but you will eventually. And I genuinely believe I'm acting under the instruction of God to do good things, and I want to make the world a better place. I genuinely believe my legacy is a good legacy, and I believe that eventually, when the legacy media catches up, they're going to understand I'm a good, positive influence. I'm not interested in damaging the world for money, because if I was interested in damaging the world for money, I could have sold drugs, or I could make rap music and encourage everyone to stab each other like all the drill artists do. Or you could make controversial statements online that attract a lot of followers who you then direct to your website, I could where make, they pay I could make to learn how I, to be sure, like you. I mean, I could, make, I could make jokes online. Who doesn't? I mean, I could make a joke Are you online. saying that all the controversial things you've said are jokes? No, I'm saying that these organizations and the BBC who are going to sit here and pretend that I am the face of damaging the youth is absolutely garbage. It's completely disingenuous. It makes you and money. The reason, in fact, I've seen thousands and thousands of comments and have endless emails from women Praising the, fact, worry you? praising the fact that their sons are listening to me. Does it not praising worry you? The, fact that the things I'm saying, does it not worry you? It would worry... It would are you worry, not concerned about it your would, influence? It would worry me if I was genuinely damaging the world. But for you to sit here and say, Andrew, you've become the most Googled man in the world, you have billions of views, and one woman, one, is now saying that her husband is I not the same man she wants him to be, when thousands and thousands of people are saying the opposite, well, then I would say that I've that's... I've presented you with case after case after case, with quote after quote after quote, of people who are genuinely concerned about the impact you're having, and you brush it off as if it's nothing. No, what you have done is come here with an agenda, you've come here with loaded questions, you've come here with things taken out of context, you come here with things that you don't understand are satirical, and then you're going to also sit and say that one woman said that her boyfriend changed when he watched one of your videos, and, and then I don't know what satirical, you expect me to say to that. sarcastic, and jokes. No, that's how you explain no, the comments you no, make. For you to sit down... Would you like to apologize for any of them? Uh, for you to sit down... And Wait, <laughs> what? Why is she getting... She's trying to get him to apologize, you know? She's just trying to get him to submit, right? you know what I'm saying? And that's it. <laughs> for you to sit down... It's fine. No, it's fine. It's easy. For you to sit down and say that one woman said that um, her boyfriend watched an Andrew Tate video and now he won't do the dishes. Schools. Or whatever your, your schools, argument is. Police. And that I'm somehow the worst, most dangerous man in the world because I have a car. It's just disingenuous. If you actually watch the things I say, if you actually watch my comments about women, I've done long podcasts for hours long about females, talking about protecting for them, providing for them, how I believe a woman should be treated in a relationship. I've done all of this.
Andrew Tate talking there to Lucy Williamson. Well, let's uh, go straight to the newsroom, go straight to our education editor, Branwyn uh, Jeffries, who's there for us. And Branwyn, I know that uh, over Why the cut him off, man? last recent while, you've been talking to so, so many, many teachers, teachers about oh. Andrew Tate. How concerned are they about the stuff he pumps out? Matthew, teachers have spoken very vividly of how they are deeply worried about... Man, what the heck? They're just, they're just panicking. They're, there's bigger problems in the world. Guys, I really hope you did enjoy. If you did enjoy, be sure you subscribe, drop a like, check out my other videos too, man. Catch manifested. Signing up.